Okay, ready? Here we go. What is going on, everybody? It's Mr. Mark Levitz here again to bring you another lecture video. Today we are continuing Unit 5, talking about editing, specifically parallel editing. Now, you remember a couple of weeks ago when we were taking that quiz on Bonnie and Clyde, and one of the multiple choice answers was parallel editing, and all of you put that, even though we've never talked about it? Well, now I'm going to teach you about parallel editing. So, what is it? Well, Parallel editing, also referred to as cross-cutting or intercutting, is the process of cutting back and forth between two or more parallel actions. And these actions can be simultaneous, like in a chase sequence, like we see in this example from Reservoir Dogs. Mr. Pink running down the street carrying a bag of jewels and the three police officers chasing after him, cutting back and forth between Mr. Pink and the officers, and even though these shots were filmed, you know, hours apart probably, who knows, maybe even days apart, the way that they're edited together makes it look like they're happening simultaneously. And also, we don't need to see these characters in the same shot in order to understand that this character is being chased by these characters, right? And with a chase scene like this, it's very important that the characters be running in the same direction. Mr. Pink is running from left to right, therefore the officers chasing him should also be running left to right. If Pink was running left to right, but the officers were running right to left, it would look like these characters were running towards one another and not one group chasing another, right? And this leads us to our second simultaneous action. Let's say you have two characters that are meeting for lunch or breakfast or dinner. I guess it doesn't matter what they're meeting for, but you've got two characters that are trying to connect, right? You have character A on his phone saying, hey man, where are you? Cut to character B being like, oh, I'm over here by the thing. Back to A, okay, I'll start walking then. And we see character A walking left to right, and then we'll cut to character B moving right to left. Because again, the idea is that these two characters are supposed to be coming closer together, not further apart. So in this example from Strangers on a Train, Alfred Hitchcock uses screen direction very effectively to show this pair of legs that is moving from right to left cut with this pair of legs moving left to right. And eventually these two legs are going to meet on this train, hence the title of the film, Strangers on a Train. You can also use cross-cutting to build suspense. In this early example from the Lonely Villa, we see a young woman and her family trapped in this room, cut with the robbers that are trying to break in, cut with a third scene of her husband trying to get to the house in order to save his wife and children, cut back with the woman and the children, cut to the robbers trying to break in, back to the husband, A, B, C, A, B, C. This is a very popular way, I guess, to use cross-cutting in order to build suspense. And of course, one of my favorite examples from an early episode of Family Guy, fast animals, slow children. Come on, guys, wait up! Oh, dang, I got honey all over my legs. Now, this scene is obviously using cross-cutting or parallel editing for comedic purposes, but you know, they're also doing it to build suspense. We have the tiger, we have the child, back to the tiger, back to the child, and yeah, it's, it's funny, okay? You can also use parallel editing for non-simultaneous actions. Let's say you wanna reveal some sort of crucial information from the past, like we see in this example from Fight Club. Now, for the sake of spoilers, I'm not gonna play the audio from this scene, but in this example, we have Edward Norton's character and Brad Pitt's character talking in this hotel room, and we're constantly cutting back in time to these earlier events. And these flashbacks are revealing crucial information to the audience. And we see this type of editing a lot in movies where there's a big reveal at the end, right? Where, again, the filmmaker is going to show you all of these past scenes to sort of blow your mind. Like, oh my God, how did we not see it coming? All the evidence was right there, oh my God. But uh, yeah, not very typical, but it is used. You can also link scenes that are thematically similar, like we see in this other David Fincher example, 
from the social network. What are we doing about this? I went to a 3L at Student Legal Services and he told me to write them back. And what did you say? When we met in January, I expressed my doubts about the site, where it stood with graphics, how much programming was left that I had not anticipated. The lack of hardware we had to deal with, site use, the lack In the social network, Mark Zuckerberg's character is being sued by everybody, so we are constantly cutting back and forth between flashbacks and then these deposition scenes. It works. That's why they won the Academy Award for best editing, all right? Your lab assignment for this week, guys, is to create a video that uses cross-cutting to show parallel action. This can be a chase sequence, this can be two characters meeting for lunch, this can be, you know, a scene that is designed to build suspense, I don't care. All I wanna see is at least five cuts, and at the end of your video, the two characters, character A and character B, have to meet. If they're chasing each other, well then A catches B. If they're meeting for lunch, well then they meet for lunch, whatever it is. Okay, five cuts, characters meet at the end, that's the requirement, all right? And then this week, I just talked about it, we are going to watch The Social Network from 2010. I hate how much I love this movie. <laughs> I remember when this movie came out, hey, David Fincher's making a movie about Facebook. I thought, man, this is gonna be terrible. And it's not, <laughs> it's not, and not only is it not terrible, it's really, really good, all right? Um, I really think that this film is going to outlive Facebook as an entity, whatever. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's just wishful thinking on my part. But anyway, uh, a very wonderful film that, uh, yeah, I'm excited to share with you guys. So uh, there you go, guys, parallel editing. I hope you learned something. Email me if you have any questions or talk to me in class. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.